Alrighty guys, welcome to the mm, wrestling show. This is the Raw Rundown for April 30th, 2018. Let's get into it. Uh, so this week we opened up Raw with a Roman Reigns entering. Again, we were in Montreal. Uh, the announced team has to let everybody know that Montreal is, you know, you know, Bizarro Land or Bizarro World. You know, it's not like any other crowd. They're same thing, you know, that they say after WrestleMania that, you know, it's in an international crowd. So these guys are going to boo for the people that normally get cheered and cheer the people that normally get booed. And I would say it was more of just an exaggeration on what most fans, the hardcore fans anyways, actually feel, you know. Uh, Roman Reigns got came out here and he got booed extra hard. So it's just like they're exaggerating the frustration with the Roman Reigns uh, storyline. And people love Samoa Joe. So when Samoa Joe came out, they popped like crazy. Okay, uh, so let's get uh, what actually happened in this segment here. Uh, Roman Reigns comes out. Um, you know, they're as he's walking into the ring, they're showing a little stuff about what happened at the great greatest royal rumble and you know the ref is saying that he's sorry that he made a mistake and that roman reigns should have won um they talked to kurt angle and he says you know that the ref made a decision so we're going to stick by it because he was doing it in you know in uh, thoughts of trying to keep the performer safe uh, so then Roman actually gets in the ring and he's pretty much saying, you know, the same thing he's been saying for the longest time now that, oh, Brock's still not here. Um, you know, that he's really the rightful champion. Then this is when, um, Samoa Joe, um, interrupts him. He's doing, you know, it's like a video package. Uh, again, fans go crazy. And then Jinder Mahal comes out and he gets booed, um, and then, you know, he's saying that uh, Roman's going to lose to Samoa Joe. And then uh, Sami Zayn um, comes out. And, you know, obviously, as they mentioned in the broadcast, Sami Zayn being so uh, from so close to there, uh, they're going crazy for him. Um Fans are popping, and they want Sami Zayn to fight with Roman. And then Kevin Owen comes out. Uh, he starts talking some French, and everybody starts chanting, we, 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 just like they would, yes, yes, yes. Um, Kevin says that he wants Roman, and so everybody wants to fight Roman now. Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, Jinder Mahal, and... Kevin Owens puts on a popularity contest. It seems like to me that he won that contest. Um, but then they they start attacking. And then Bobby Lashley enters to come help uh, Roman Reigns. And then uh, Braun Strowman comes out to help as well. And that's going to set up a match for later in the night. Uh, next up, we had Elias versus Bobby Roode. Now, Elias got the win here. Um because uh, Bobby Roode took a kick to the chest that made it hard for him to breathe. And then Elias uh, smashed his chest into the outside uh, corner in the ring post there. And then uh, the ref called the match. I thought this was a really good segment for Elias. Uh, he looked strong in the win. At one point, he picked up um, Bobby Roode and like, did a body slam, but he like threw him across the ring when he did it. Um, I thought it was a great segment for him when he, uh, after the match was over, the ref called the match, Elias took it upon himself to go over to the microphone, grab it, and announce himself as the winner. Uh, so I thought that was really well done uh, for his character. And overall, a pretty good match. Uh, next up, we had uh, Authors of Pain in a match versus some jobbers uh, who they called uh, Jean-Paul and Francois, the most, you know, French Canadian names, <laughs> stereotypical ones that you can get, and uh, Author of Pains, of course, uh, squashed them here because it was a squash match. Uh, I do think the Authors of Pain look strong here, um, and hopefully they'll just keep doing this for a little while to keep building up their character on, 
you know, how strong they are. Uh, next up, uh, Seth Rollins came out, and man, Montreal was wild for Seth Rollins as well. Again, this is a guy that's been putting in good work, and to me, it's not the fa that the fans are so weird and crazy there. They just exaggerate everything that much more. Like, they, like, you know, how, f how for how loud fans are on the internet about what they like and they don't like, Montreal was, like, that much louder like in person like they were like okay this is what we like and this is what we don't like and they really like Seth Rollins um and he talks about how he doesn't want to be like Brock Lesnar he wants to actually be a fighting champion and he wants to be there every week um then Finn Balor comes in and makes a point of hey you know we're two and two in matches against each other uh, so we need to have a final match uh and he wants a title match um, the fans vote yes, of course, and then the Miz Taraj enter here, um, and they want to join, they want to form a new, uh, four horsemen, um, of course, Seth and Finn say no, uh, they attack, uh, Seth and Finn fight them off, and then, uh, Finn hits Seth Rollins in the back of the head with a belt and goes away thought maybe this was going to kind of be like a heel turn for Finn and maybe he was going to go to the demon here but they actually like after he did this and he was walking away Seth Rollins was like smiling at him like okay yeah you got me there it didn't really make a total change for either character yet uh, maybe this loss uh, that we'll talk about later will change something in the future um Let's see here. But next up after that, we had Ruby Riot versus Sasha Banks. Um, this was actually a really good match, uh, I thought. Uh, Ruby Riot got the win here, um, but she looked really strong. She is definitely the star of the Riot Squad. Again, I'm not a fan of the Riot Squad being a thing together. Uh, they, they just don't seem like they fit well. Maybe if they just broke them all up and had them each do their individual things, Maybe Sarah Logan and Liv Morgan would um, come across better as characters, but the the whole group thing doesn't work for me. Um, so, but yeah, I mean the ma this match itself, Ruby Riot was this is probably her best match that she's had since she's since she has been called up to the main roster, and uh, she looked really good here. Uh, let's see here. Um, we got another moment of bliss after this where, you know, Naya talks about how, uh, I mean, Alexa talks about how Naya ruined, uh, her trip to Disney World because Naya was making a whole bunch of, um, you know, short jokes at Alexa and that, uh, you know, she can remember Naya, you know, just laughing in Alexa's face and while she was holding a turkey leg in each hand, which is a thing at Disney World. So I thought that was pretty good. Uh, Alexa delivers these segments perfectly. Um, after this, we got Titus O'Neil, um, and they just kind of like talked about his whole uh, Titus World slide that he did at the Greatest Royal Rumble when he made his entrance there. Uh, everybody's still laughing about it. I still laugh at it still when I see it, and I don't know how many times I've seen it, but every time I've seen it, it still makes me laugh and smile. Um, but, of course, uh, he gets interrupted by Baron Corbin. <sighs> For some reason, is what I wrote down in my notes, like, I still, I like, I don't care about Baron Corbin's character or his look, you know. It's just, it's not doing it for me, which is too bad because the guy, you know, I'm sure he works really hard. You can tell that he does because he has decent in-ring performances, uh, but the whole character is just not getting across. Um, next up we had, um, oh, I loved this next segment too. I'm still loving the whole uh, Woken Matt Hardy and, you know, the new Woken Bray Wyatt thing. I'm, I'm still loving it, um, you know, however many months later it, it is now. Um, but yeah, they show a little video package here where they're showing uh, Bray and uh, Matt Hardy like in a whole bunch of pictures uh, together throughout time and history uh, and they've inserted themselves into a whole bunch of different historical moment pictures I thought it was really good really funny and then uh, this week on Twitter has been great with a whole bunch of other people contributing making more pictures on uh, Twitter so go look those up it's it's excellent um 
Then we had um, Jinder Mahal, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn versus Roman Reigns, Bobby Lashley, and uh, Braun Strowman. Um, I I noticed here this was another one where anytime again the fans just make everything exaggerated in Montreal. Anytime like uh, Roman Reigns was getting a hit in at all, like they were booing. Uh, but and you and you know it's not just because you know it was Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn that he was hitting. It's because they're tired of the whole Roman Reigns thing. Because when Braun Strowman got in there and started doing his thing. When uh, even when he was attacking Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, fans were loving it. Um, you know, uh, Reigns, Lashley, and Strowman ended up got, getting the win in this match. And, and overall, an exciting match, like really well done. Um, you know, obviously the fans there are big fans of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, and uh, they put on a great match for their home crowd there. And you know, the home crowd just like fed him perfectly everything that you would want for you know reactions when you're a performer like that um after this we got baron corbin versus no way jose um again i i don't care about this match at all um and then baron corbin at one point he's looking like he's gonna get the win but titus worldwide comes out and interrupts uh, Baron Corbin, because Baron Corbin was talking about how, you know, he didn't like the whole, you know, he interrupted Titus, um, Titus's segment earlier. I didn't mention that, what act, what had actually happened. So Baron Corbin came in there and was like, oh, you know, oh, you fell down and that's what you're known for. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to be known for being serious. So Titus Worldwide comes out. Uh, Titus O'Neil gets up on the apron and he, like, does a fake fall, which distracts Baron Corbin and makes him laugh, and then no way Jose is able to take advantage of it and get the win there. Uh, again, I don't care about this storyline at all. Like, I do want to see a lot of Titus now, just because of what happened at Greatest Royal Rumble. Like, I want to see him, like, you know, get a little push just because it was such a great moment. Uh, but for Baron Corbin, I don't, you know, I don't care anything he's involved in right now. They just got to, like, when he came out to the ring and he was talking, uh, the trash he was talking this was like the one time in the night like the montreal crowd was quiet like and he was like saying like oh yeah you guys are booing me and i was like uh, are they like do they care i don't think they even care to be baron corbin but you're obviously you know you know you gotta read your script or you know rattle off the lines from your script and so you know it was just it was no good uh, but after that match, we had Mickey James versus Natalia. Alexa came out with uh, Mickey James, and Ronda Rousey came out with uh, Ronda Rousey came out with uh, <laughs> Natalia. Of course, uh, they're having a you know it, it was kind of a short match. It was a decent match, but then uh, Ronda ends up chasing Alexa around a little bit. Uh, around the ring and uh, she starts running uh, she tries to run up the apron but then Nia Jax comes out and then she runs her out of the building and then I th wasn't sure quite what we were going to get here um, Nia Jax gets into the ring and she has kind of a little stare down with uh, Ronda Rousey but it turns out to be it's just like a stare down of respect type of thing and um, yes yeah, Nia ends up raising the hand of Rhonda and Natalia here and uh, but maybe it's a little future of things to come obviously uh, Naya doesn't want to give up her title and she knows um, Rhonda is probably going to want to come for it someday so you know possible match in the future you know I'm sure that's going to be far down the line but something that we can get one day and then let's see here uh, then we got our ma um, you know main event uh which was like the match of the night for me, uh, Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins. Uh, they always put on great matches. Um, what I really loved about this match was the finish. It was great. Um, a couple of missed um, finishers by both sides. You know, we had a reversal from Finn Balor where, you know, um, Seth Rollins, he goes to do a superplex off the top rope into his Falcon Arrow. And we saw this couple weeks ago in the lead up to the Grace Royal Rumble where Finn Balor uh, then 
you know, after this uh, superplex, he rolls him up into a pin. But this time, uh, you know, he gets superplex. And then when Seth Rollins hops up to do the Falcon Arrow on Finn Balor, Finn Balor actually reverses it. And he does the Falcon Arrow on Seth Rollins. That was a great spot. Overall, there was a lot of great spots in this match. Um, again, I just want to see these guys go at it all the time. Like these are the guys that, like Seth Rollins and Finn Balor, are put on great matches with each other right now. And for for me, let them keep fighting all throughout the summer. I love it. Like if if uh, Finn Balor has to bring the demon back to keep some sort of storyline going so they can keep this feud going uh they need to do it uh because they're the the matches these two are putting on are so good you can't just you can't just let it go away um it, it's exciting every time and of course you don't want to do it every week because then it would grow stale but man you can you can keep it going at the pay-per-views um throughout the summer and i think it will be it'll be great all right, guys, that is the Raw Rundown for for April 30th, 2018. Thank you for tuning into the show here, uh, whether you're checking it out on YouTube or if you're checking it out on podcasts. Either way, make sure you rate, review, subscribe, um, like, comment, uh, do all those things. It helps the show out. Um, the other thing I just want to mention again, I have another podcast I'm doing right now, Daily Fortnite. Uh, it's got about 10,000 downloads um, now. So that show for me is really taking off super fast. Again, I've been doing that show for a month. Uh, so if Fortnite is something you're into, uh, go check out that show. And go check out uh, my Twitch there as well. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in the show. We'll catch you for the uh, SmackDown rundown later.